Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to some more Kessen 2. We've just won the Battle of Chibi and defeating Cow Cow's forces on water with wind and fire and... Well, I'm water actually, yes. So we will return to the game and I can't remember what the next battle is actually. Oh, it is Chengdu. Okay, that seems early, but yep, sure. Liu Bei and Sun Quan achieve a miraculous victory at Qi Bi. The defeated Cao Cao retreats to Zhu Chang. After the battle, Liu Bei gains control over the southern half of the Jing province and places it under his rule. We need to decide what our options are. Yes, what ideas have you come up with? The soldiers need a morale boost because they're not getting enough to eat. How about putting the soldiers to work in the fields? <laughs> then those who don't work, don't eat. Very good, Pang Tao. Love it. <laughs> we captured a lot of Cao Cao soldiers. A great many of them wish to join your army and fight with you. Won't you forgive and forget the past and let them join you? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Time not spent in battle is time to train. Don't you think? We need training! 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 <laughs> oh, I love you, Galio. Uh, Zhang Fei. He's great. So, basically, we get the choice of supplies, I think. Although he says morale, but I think it's supplies. Um, troops and then, uh, yeah, troop strength, if you like. And well, no, that's not right. Troop whatever. So our troop strength is very low. Compared, particularly compared to our other stuff. So I'm actually going to go with Lady Mae Sanyon's um, option. And let's recruit some more troops. Hopefully we, I mean, I guess we're kind of looking for well, anything close to 10 would be really good. But I don't know how much boost it, it gives you. Let's do it. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> Liu Bei. Look how many of the prisoners have joined us. Oh, okay. Eight. Uh, all units have increased by eight. No, that's not too bad. We've named them the Hog Troop. Isn't that neat? We attach special wings, launch them from the pad, and whoosh! It will be a wonderful way to invade the enemy's castle from the sky. Pretty cool, yeah? I mean, other than her voice, yes, it is pretty cool. The funny thing is, you've given it to a general that has horse Liu troops. <laughs> this fertile land mm. west of the Jing province is ruled by Liu Zhang, an ally of Cao Cao. Suffering a major defeat in Qi Bi, Cao Cao plots with Liu Zhang to trick Liu Bei into taking the offensive. Mm. Anticipating Cao Cao's scheme, Liu Bei takes his counsel's advice and advances his troops to Yi province. Anxious to avoid a needless battle, Liu Bei shrewdly moves on to Chengdu, the capital of Yi province, where he hopes to persuade Liu Zhang to reconsider. We never address the, the people having the last name either in this, but... You just walk right in here all by yourself, do you? Mm-hmm. I guess all the rumors about your heroics are true. Lord Lu Xiang, I do not seek to wage war. Join me and fight Cao Cao. We must resist him, or the people will suffer. I understand. I do not wish to fight either. However, I can't break the alliance I made with Cao Cao. You would side with a heinous tyrant like Cao Cao? Ah. <sighs> Poor Cao Cao. I pity him so much. Pity? I've known him since he was just a little boy. He was a sweet, adorable child. <laughs> but war has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. I have a long-standing agreement. I cannot break my treaty with him. I'll leave at once. My lord! You enter my home and ask me to betray a friend? Go as I told you. 
Now there will be war. War is no longer avoidable. While we're in this standoff, Ma Chao of Shamon Gate or Jia Hao Bao of Han Zhang could attack from the rear at any time. We have to fight then. Kao Kao was a sweet, adorable child. But war has changed him so much, I'm afraid. He's a merciless, vicious despot. It is time. We will plan the attack on Changdu Castle. Yes, yes sir. Cheng, not Chang. <laughs> Who right. just knows that? That's Begin so the council. <laughs> According to the scouting unit's report, the castle is heavily guarded. And the enemy's position is unknown. No, I know where the enemy are. I used to, anyway. <laughs> In this battle, if we can force the enemy general to flee, then it will be our victory. If my brother's unit is forced to flee, then it will be a loss. Mm -hmm. Very good. We'll give the command of the Hawk troops to Lord Guan Yu. The Hawk troops? I agree. Tell me what options there are. My brother, listen to this strategy of mine. Focus the attack on the east gate. Mm -hmm. If you do that, the enemy will concentrate their troops on defending it. That will enable me to advance to the hill. From there, I will launch the Hawk troops. A surprise attack by the Hawk troops will utterly demoralize our foes. Master Liu Bei, listen to what I have to say. What if we use your troops to protect the storehouse, Master? The others in groups of two attack the gates here. The two far sides. Could do. Yeah, okay. Then Lord Guan Yu can really put them hot troops to use. Liu Bei, listen to my strategy. Everyone attacks this little gate here. You have to keep attacking those bad boys and never give them a second to rest. That has to wipe them out. <laughs> it would be great if Guan Yu's hawk troops could be able to use this hill. Please decide upon a strategy, my lord. Okay, so we've got the... Like, well, I know it says East Gate. Oh no, it is the East Gate, right? And this one's the North Gate. I, mean, I don't really mind uh, Mei Sanyon's thing. I don't know if we get our supply depot attacked, like specifically targeted or not in this battle. I can't quite remember. They seem to definitely want to keep Liu Bei back by the storehouse, though, which is concerning. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So I think it's Soon Li, isn't it, who's going to go around with on you in this one what if we use your troops to protect the storehouse master the others in groups of two attack the gates here mm. then lord guan yu can really put them hot troops to use thing is attacking the gates does it does do a lot of damage basically not damage, that's not the one looking for. Um, you take Focus a lot of attack on the east troop gate. damage. Yeah. If you do that, the enemy will concentrate their troops on defending it. That will enable me to advance to the hill. From there, I will launch the Hawk troops. A surprise attack by the Hawk troops will utterly demoralize our foes. You know what, I'm actually quite happy with that one. Because then anyway, whoever's defending the... The uh, storehouse can go and attack the north gate. It should actually be Soon Lee. And then that will allow Guan Yu to come in from behind, I think. That would be the way I would do it. And I guess there's nothing stopping us from attacking the self as well, if we wanted to. But yeah, I'm going to go for that one, I think. I like your idea, Guan Yu. Let's do it. And it'd be quicker as well to get him into the, the castle. And he is one of my most upgraded generals as well. So let's see. Let's do it. I've made my decision. To battle! Yes, yes sir. sir! The siege battles are... They're probably done as well as they can be, I think. But you don't get... You, because of trying to fight in a castle with... Let's go. Narrow corridors. And then obviously the 
the gates as well. There's lots of unit, lots of abilities that you can't use. Which is, yeah, just frustrating. But we'll see how it goes. Wow, that's a very nice castle gate. Lube, the primary method of attacking a castle is by first destroying its gate. You can also climb the walls as well. But that never really works out too too well usually. However, when the gate's defense is too strong, it is possible to scale the castle walls. So you have to plan your attack well. Attack against gates can be strengthened by moving other units up into supporting positions. To climb the wall, simply select a location on top of the wall as the unit's objective. Note there are certain parts of the wall you can't climb, and that's it. It doesn't basically tell you all the other issues that you have. Oh, I only have two days. Yeah, time's of the essence. Right, so I'm going to get Soon Lee to also attack the north, I think. Do we know who's going after the gate? I'd rather it be Zhang Fei, if we can. Looks like it is. So that's good. So I could go on use unit. Just wondered if he if we gained any Oh Guanping's got a rally, that's nice. So those guys are no no longer useless. Not that they were ever useless, but you know, completely useless. Right, let's head over to Zhang Fei's unit. I guess the troops that you want climbing the walls are going to have to have archers, basically. So I'll have to see who's got archers. I'm leaving the supply depot undefended because I'm trying to think how the how you would get through. I don't think you could. Because I've got three coming down there and I've got that north the north gate is protected and the gate that these guys are going to are also protected as well. Oh, does Yan Yan come out of the castle? No. The m what, what is going on? He's a madman. <laughs> Wow. I don't... You know what? That's not what I was expecting. At all. Soon Lee's going to have a... Have a battle straight away. What is the AI doing? I have never... I like, genuinely never... See, I, I've play, you got to remember, I've played a lot of this. We've got horse troops. We should be able to. We should be able to catch Yan Yan up. I love this though. This is great because Yan Yan's not going to be able to catch up with Guan Yu. When Guan Yu gets to the top of that hill, that's it. He's flying into the castle. Yan Yan's been attacked from behind. Oh yes, and we have our ceremonial dance before fighting. Off our horses. It's so unnecessary, but they would have spent a lot of time with the motion capture and stuff for that. Oh, we've got Pantong as well. Brilliant. That's the, just the kind of news I like to hear. Oh, here we go.
If only there was actually battles going on in the castle. I mean, there isn't, but if there was, that would be good. <laughs> there we go, Guan Yu's in the castle. I probably need to go and move him shortly, but I also need to initiate my charge as well against Yan Yan. Oh, yeah, because he's got two units of archers, hasn't he? Oh, that didn't go. That did. That was rubbish. That disappointed him. You know, it wasn't the worst ever. Well, I'm going to have to if I want to use magic, aren't I? Come on then, Pantong, in you get. Out of the way. Just going to go for the more the explosion damage, I think. I can. I don't know what level of meteor he's got. Probably like level two. And some of the bigger. Oh yeah, yeah, he's got good. I think I might even have level three meteor actually. Gosh. He does. And the one in the middle as well. Nice. And that's where Meteor Shower becomes like proper good. I'll take that. I mean, obviously, I'll have to take it anyway, but you know what I mean? Right. Let's get, get Guan Yu into the center, at least anyway, just as a, as a starting point. What unit has Liu Bei got? He has got... Oh, Ma Su's got some archers. All right. Let's get Liu Bei on the wall. Now I'm going to have Zhu Ge Leon, I guess, just come out here for now. Because those guys are still fighting, and I'll carry on with... Soon Lee or Pantong or someone. Yan Yan has been well and truly smoked here. He's not, a, and he's not a bad general. Is probably the other thing I would say because of his crossbows. Actually, pretty cool. loads of morale as well. He'll probably use Rally when we start getting close to beating him. Which might hold him off for a little bit longer. Ma Chao. Ma Chao. The famous great and brave Ma Chao. But why? It was Cow Cow who butchered my entire clan. Now I swear on their dead bodies. I won't stop while I have his head. You know what, Machel? There is a north gate that is surprisingly open for you. And that's exactly where he's going as well. Right, I'm going to get Guan Yu to attack Wu Yi, I think, from behind. Oh, 
Well, I guess we can actually show you the... Was, I've not shown you the animations. I should show you the animations. That's the whole point in recording this, right? So, yeah, so you have them um, climbing the walls. I've never really known climbing the walls to be very useful, though. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why not? Look how look how huge those ladders are. Where have those ladders come from? It's just spawned into existence. <laughs> and then we've got Jugalion battering down the gates. Now, we go right through the gate. Oh. The enemy has entered. We have no choice but to kill them. You didn't get to see the, the battering ram and people throwing stuff down there. But that's what happens. They get stuff thrown on them. They run in with these really long battering rams. All done for effect, obviously. I wonder if I can use volley. I seem to remember... Yeah, you can't during the outposts. Which is a bit of a shame. But Zhang Fei does have raid. We've got ourselves stuck for some reason. Very annoying. Look, game, why don't you just let me control Zhang Fei? How about that? No. <laughs> Alright, okay, I'm going to use Guan Yu instead. Because we have... We have charge, of course. Out of the way. Goodness me. Okay, so I actually want to be over here then, don't I? Don't think I'm going to get as good of a charge off as I would like. I'm going to go through my own men as well. Show me what but you know what, of. that's okay. Show me. Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. Better than Soon Lee's one, anyway. I don't know what Wu Yi... I don't actually think any of Lu... Lu Zhang's men or no jewelers, but... Me here. We'll get the morale. I can't abide such a thing. It's got a very interesting hat. Helmet. Okay, that was very good. That soon leaves nearly beaten Yan Yan. Let's see if Zhang Fei will let me use Raid. I am the one in your nightmares. Zhang is stuck behind there, but that's okay. Good job, Soon Lee. I guess I can move you back there now, I suppose. I don't know what else to do with you. Oh, there we go. Oh, Liu Bei's actually come off the wall. Oh. Well, that's good. 
many because I can now flank. <laughs> I don't know if there's another. There must be one of a unit for Lu Xiang. I'll just send Jigalion down to the self gate. <laughs> just because I don't know what else to do. Farzeng sent hardly any men to counter my army with Liu Bei, but... It's okay. Kind of is what it is at this point. I never understood why, if they're going to give like Pan Pantong and Masu uh, like bows and crossbow units, why they don't have volley. I don't even know if Masu and Pantong even learn volley. I think it's called something else for crossbows, like snipe or something. But point, point being, point remains, that is. So far, this has been incredibly easy. Which hesitate to say, because then the game will throw something at me that I've forgotten about. I'm just going to move Liu Bei there, and then... And then, I don't know. See what we're working with. We can watch Zhang Fei cross the gate if we want. It's basically quite similar in essence, to the river crossing. Objectives. Put you there. And then have Zhuge Leon go through here. And we can have Zhuge Leon fight Yu Zhang. And then he can use his magic and level up further. And hopefully Ma Chao finds the last unit. I'm hoping is Yi's last unit anyway. to use rally. Won't do him any good. Uh, Machow's really good. He's got some interesting units. They've got he's got horse the horse bow units and cavalry, I think. Or are they all horse bow? Can't remember, but in any case, they are interesting. It's uh interesting to have cavalry with with bows. Here we go, Zhang Ren. They turn around, or did I get a surprise attack in? Who knows? We'll find out shortly. We did. Did get a surprise attack in. Soldiers! We go! <laughs> Ride our horses like surfboard. Oh, that one guy fell off. Thought we fell off. No. <laughs> uh, might as well. Oh, wait. Does Machao have... Uh, once again, no volley. Which is a bit annoying. Zhang Ren, I'm not sure if... 
he has jewel. I don't think he does. I mean, we might as well ask him, right? Let's ask him. Or shall we raid him first? Let's raid him first, then let's ask him. I'll brand your hide with He's got some nice heavy foot. Thousand. We got the nice little chime, so it means we did good. Dismount! I'd rather die in the saddle. That's far too hasty a thing for me. No, Zhang Ren not interested at all in dueling. He's quite stubborn as well. He's going to take a bit of a of a beating. But that's okay, I suppose. And then we'll have Guan Yu beat Wu Yi. Uh, Guan Ping, that's the rally, which is not actually needed. Might as well use Battle Cry, I suppose. should about about do this unit now oh, I, thought, I thought I saw it flash red for a second then oh, I did and there we are Jan Ring initiating rush. That's okay. We've got plenty plenty of troop and morale advantage down there, so or maybe not a huge amount of morale advantage, but enough. And get one you to turn around. And hopefully the Duke Leon's unit can get a move on. I know you've only got foot soldiers, but they take a while to make progress. Oh no, that's okay. We'll allow that for now. He can pin Liu Zhang in place, and then when Zhuge Liang gets a bit closer, we'll probably past that next junction. Oh, he's got Kai Mao in his, in his unit, and Huan Zhong actually a pretty powerful set of commanders in there. I wonder if I can get Zhang Fei's unit to attack the gate from this side. be gone. That's right, you must go. Move him up. Lo 
launch the attack. No, oh, flanked. There we go. Face the full unit. That's what we want for maximum maximum damage. Oh, Liu Zhang does have a block, an iron. Oh, he's using volley as well. I mean, as he should. Just a bit cheeky. That's all. Oh. Yeah, it's not a bad volley. Not bad. No, okay, that was not not actually as good as I thought it might be. All right, what shall I beat him with? So it needs to. Oh, come on, Jugalion, you're in battle here. There's enemies there. This is one of the. This is one of the annoying things I must say about the like unit thing. Is it not giving you control early enough? Right, so I reckon if I go, I reckon if I go after his own unit with a lightning attack, I think that'll be enough to bait him to use. No, it won't. Okay. Well, I'm disappointed because I was thinking that might be enough, and then I would use my big fireball attack on his rest of his men. But okay, you do you, Liu Zhang. Luckily, Fireball and Firestorm are fairly similar. Oh, that looks good to me. No Iron Wall. Okay, well. Yeah, that wasn't all that good. Oh no, that was okay. What have we got? Battle cry, vol I could use volley. I'm a bit concerned now that I might have done too much damage to Liu, Liu Zhang though, because we need Ma Chao to get his win. I guess the other thing I could do is I could you try and get... I'm just not going to have time, actually. That's the problem. But I could try and get Liu Bei... Yeah, to just sit behind Ma Chao, because he's got some archers. But yeah, because Ma Chao's got his archer unit rather than normal cavalry. He's not like quite as effective as you'd like him to be. But he is obviously extremely quick and get around. And he's good at dueling and all the rest of it. He's got cool armor, obviously. And we still do have a unit, I think, firing as well, anyway. Yeah, still got those guys firing into them, which gives us a bit of a bit more dynamism. Try and get a good a good charge off on this side, if I can. Zhang Ren. He wants to join in the cavalry charge as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was pathetic. <laughs> That was okay. That was good. Knocked a few down. Took out like a hundred men or so. I just kind of get the feeling Zhang, Zhang Ren's gonna run us down to his last troop almost. We're gonna be forced to have him lose men rather than lose morale. I imagine Lu, Lu Zhang as well will also use Rally at some point. Unless he's already used it, I don't know. And there we go, We've got Lu Bei sat behind us now. Doesn't... I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference. But you're far better off getting a unit into a pincer move than anything else. Oh, my child's going to learn. Going to get raid. Learn raid. Get raid again very shortly, so that's good. Can have Zhang Fei attack from the other side of the gate as well. Let's get myself in a good position to try and... I mean, I'll only end up doing about 100. 100 or 200 worth of damage, but... That's fine. Oh, it's Jewel. No, oh, okay. Well, we'll ask him again. Dismount! I'd rather die in the saddle. Don't think he's changed his mind, Macho. That's far too hasty a thing for me. But towards the end of a unit fighting, it does just tend to help. Oh, we can actually see... Well, I have a look at Guan... Uh, sorry. At Zhang Fei's gate attack now. I missed it out the first time. That's it. Run up to the gate with your battering rams. Smash them a load of times. I think, technically, this gate is not being defended. Because when a gate's being defended, we go right through the gate. they have another animation where they show the defending unit throwing like um, rocks and stuff down. But there you go, Chang Fei's going to win that. Well, yeah, they're going to win that quite handily. And that's it. It's just Yu Leon left now. Oh, I don't know what's happened to the this unit. <laughs> Weird. I was going to use volley, but never mind. Because I could use battle cry, couldn't I? You fool! Let me show you. Okay, we ne absolutely need my child to win first. It's going to be tight though. Should do it though, because uh, being flanked and all the rest of it. Yes, lovely. Back of the head. There we go. That's it. The enemy 
general has been defeated. We've won! We shall change the mandate of heaven by our power! With the victory we have claimed in this battle, our army has finally gained the upper hand. Oh wow, we gained nine. Gosh, that's uh, big. Although I suppose, yeah, technically, if you think about the historical context anyway, getting Chengdu is actually very, very important for Liu Bei's faction. Eight supplies, it's pretty normal. Nine military, oh gosh, okay. All officers who survived. And yeah, we're getting into my lord. Ma Jin from the army of Liu Zhang has grave news. Oh no. My liege Liu Zhang has met with a most tragic end. His final orders were that I come to the aid of Lord Liu Bei and ultimately bring peace to the Yi province. At that point, he ended his own life. Oh, okay. Fuzzing's pretty good. He's, you know, he's got some... They are lower levels, but he's got some lower level magic, which can be really helpful if he's in the right unit to give them some magic support. Liu Bei. Why did you have to attack Liu Zhang? To stop Cao Cao. In order to expand our forces. You too have been seduced by the desire for conquest. No. I just want to rescue you. No matter what your excuse is, you're doing the same thing as Cow Cow. Mm. No. You're worse than Cow Cow. At least he's being honest about it. Diao Chan, I know, you don't you understand. I know, you just want to be the emperor too. Diao Chan, no, that's not true. Trust me. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. I... No, no, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I haven't saved you yet. Believe me, I'm not like Cow Cow. I have no desire to rule the world or to make the people suffer. All I want to do is to save you. Cow Cow is not as merciless as you think he is. I just know that if there was a way, a way that I could get him to stop fighting, Listen to me. You must not trust Cao Cao. Liu Bei, there's so much you don't understand. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you just Yo don't John. understand. <laughs> yep, there we go. Been pretty good so far. I'm actually debating whether I should do the the expert level ones as well later on afterwards because as much as I'm enjoying this and there are some more difficult ones coming up uh, Chengdu is not particularly that that tough but it might be nice if we're under a little bit more pressure I've not really lost many units yet apart from Chambam Po I think that battle that's the right one yeah so anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one bye for now